Mama said what you want to be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much as long as you're tough Mama said what you want to be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much as long as you're tough I just woke up, had some cereal. <clears throat> Pretty much slept on and off for 11 hours last night, trying to get on the time change. You're in St. Petersburg for the St. Anthony's Triathlon and it's time to build a bike. Feels good to be back. Word on the street is that it is gonna be windy on race morning, which means there's very high likelihood of a duathlon, which is the one thing I was hoping to avoid. But um, it's all good. This seems to be part of our sport these days, especially. Mama said what you want to be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much as long as you're tough, tough, tough. You gotta be I think this is my, this got to be like my seventh time racing St. Anthony's. I have uh, won the race, set the course record. I think I still have the bike course record don't hold the course record anymore and I've uh, uh, the, the homestay community here is awesome I love the course I love the vibes it's one of the oldest running triathlons in the country I think it's over 45 years old at this point and uh, it uh, really I think encompasses all of the things that I love about the sport that got me into the sport as a little kid everybody in the community here is is super cool and yeah uh, you just you just feel that energy. Everybody's happy to be out and making all the racers uh, experience as best as they possibly can. And that's why I make an effort to come back every single year. I hate that you text me but act like a stranger in person. You're looking right through me last night. I told you how I'm hurting. Fade away with all your friends I don't want to play pretend Call me tonight, oh, who cares, I'm just broken Don't think no my stop, you're too ruthless Not a clue what you do, you're just clueless I would do for you, you confuse it You know I tried, don't hear my line Don't think no my stop, you're too ruthless Not a clue what you do You say you're excited to see me Got me so wishful believing you're trying to reach me Can tell me what you want But I know it's just a front But here you come running when I started It doesn't have balls. Really? No <laughs> way. I don't no know. spots. <laughs> no, it's a girl. Yeah, definitely. Because of the spots, you can tell. You, on the wings, it has spots. Like, that is amazing. Do you want to put your hand in there and let it crawl on your hand? And sure. Don't touch the wings. Just let it crawl on your finger. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that cool? Uh-oh. That's okay. This is why I do it, because it's so cool. Amazing. So it doesn't seem one, like, a, oh yeah. I guess. See. No, he doesn't want to fly yet. He's not quite ready to fly. I have to hang him on something. 
Don't get my butt in there. Oh. There we go. Okay, you can hang there for a minute. Wow. That's so cool. You said two weeks, eh? About, yeah. I was hoping, hoping and hoping that I'd have one for you. Wow. All right, pro briefing wrapped up. Uh, it's now, what is it, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. Race goes off at 6.30 in the morning on uh, on Sunday. I, I actually pulled out the camera because I'm borrowing my homestay Chucks uh, Porsche Macan. And I just discovered seat coolers. This is the most magical thing I have experienced. There's a little fan. Turn it on. Like you sit down in a car here. I mean, outside obviously is hot, but you sit down in a car, and within two seconds, I'm just like pouring sweat down the down the sides of my body, sitting in sweat. And seat coolers, <sighs> things I didn't know existed that I'll, that I'll probably never have in my life. But uh, you know, it's uh. It's been an interesting emotional or experiential, I don't want to say roller coaster, but experience being here because I've been working so hard on TTL and I'm so fired up about um, videography and the film that Nick and I are working on. I don't know if I've talked about that on the, on the vlog yet, but talked about it on the podcast. All of a sudden kind of switching mental gears back into like, go, 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 kill, <laughs> you know, like race intensity is... Well, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting experience, and there's a lot of good guys here, a lot of young guys, uh, you know that this is this is everything that they have going on, and I and I got a lot going on in my life now, and this is just one part of all of the things, and I'm super happy to still be able to do it. Um, but I was you know I was feeling kind of down and kind of meh about it uh, until going to the pro briefing and then actually seeing seeing everybody and like kind of being plunged back into that. And I got a little, I got a little bit of the vibe, got a little bit of the feeling. I don't know how it's gonna go. Like this has been a very unusual spring for me. I had a little bit of an injury. I was prepping for Xterra. That didn't happen because of the injury. And then, you know, I just went to Oceanside to support Paula, and um, has not felt normal. And I went to the film premiere in, in Denver. So I just, I've had a lot of things going on, and this is. I just have no idea what to expect, but I am excited to go and just yeah, just see what happens and race and be part of the race and race. I kind of, kind of got to check the ego at the door because there are, this might be the first swim that I've done in a long time where I will be potentially not in the lead pack. Um, I've got Greg Harper, Chase McQueen, Mark Dubrick, and then like a couple of other guys who when the other thing, the the swim is shortened. And when the swim is shortened to 750 and like four or five guys like immediately freak out, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a fast swim. So uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. I feel like my bike's in a pretty good spot. Like my hip hasn't been bothering me too much lately, um, but you just never know until you start racing. So. Uh, I had a good time talking to Matt Sharp. He's kind of in a similar place. His wife is uh, trying to make the Olympic team and he's trying to support that and he's got his own business stuff going on. And yeah, I don't know, it's just interesting to be at this thing and and uh, not feel like I am gonna live and die by the result rather than I just want to do the best I can and, and have an experience. So that's all I got. We're going to find a different coffee shop. We go to Paradeco every time that we're here, and I'm going to try something else a little bit different, even though it's a little bit further drive. And I'll pack up the bike, or get the bike ready to go for race day and get some sleep. Hang out with my homestay. Maybe have a glass of wine. And send it in the morning. Not a bad life.
I think that's my sixth or seventh time racing. I, I can't even remember, keep track at this point, but um, I had a great time, like every time. I was a little bit wondering how I was gonna feel about it in the days going into the race, but then I got, you get here and you get into the mood and it's, and I'm, I'm really freaking glad I came. Uh, I don't I don't know if I'll be back next year. I don't know how many more of these I've got in me. <laughs> uh, but if they, you know, I don't know how many on-road triathlons I'm going to do this year, but I am, if there was one I was going to do, this is the one, and I'm glad I did it. So I realize this is a crazy amount of me talking in this video, and I'm pretty self-conscious about that. I never really signed up or wanted to be a vlogger. I get a lot more excited about showing pretty places and, conveying emotions that you know and things that I see while I'm riding and running and being out there but I'll give you a quick race recap here unfortunately there's gonna be no video whatsoever from this there are no videographers here even though there is a good field uh, but that's okay I'm just gonna look at my scrubby face the swim was uh, shortened to 750 meters it's normally it's supposed to be 1500 meters obviously but when they get a lot of waves when they get a lot of wind coming like from the ocean basically it causes this crazy thing with the beach and um it just makes it hard to get out of the water makes it hard for kayaks to be in there so i respect that decision and i'm just glad that we swam at all because last year we didn't uh, and i haven't felt fantastic swimming since we left california um a few weeks ago so it didn't bum me out that much uh, I, I got out of the water i think 15 seconds down behind Mark Duber can chase McQueen, and uh, those dudes are absolutely insanely fast swimmers. And I was hoping to maybe catch them on the bike, but the best that I could do was catch up and ride with Jason West and uh, Matt Sharp. I came out of the water just in front of Jason West, but he did the, the long transition ride. It's like 800 meters. He nailed that, obviously. And so I played a little bit of catch up, dropped the group of guys that I did come out of the water with, and rode with, with Jason and uh, Matt for, for pretty much the whole thing. Also Braxton Bocos, sorry if I messed up your last name there, dude, uh, was in our group. With, with a few miles to go, I kind of just felt like doing something, so I made an attack, came around Jason, and uh, tried to make it go to get a little bit extra space coming into T2. Didn't work. Um, but Jason did get a flat, so that was that added a little bit of interestingness to the whole thing. And ultimately, not certainly not my best bike ever, not my worst bike ever. I'm still struggling with hip labrum issues. It's just like a thing that I have when I TT bike, and some days it's okay, but most of the time it's anytime I ride over X amount of watts for X amount of time, just like this whole colossal chain of tightness happens like starting from my piriformis and going up into my back and down my leg and I think I managed it pretty well today but um, dream scenario I've got 10 more years of professional racing and I go get a labral surgery and I can fix it and come back and and find out what you know I can really do with two good hips but it's just been a thing I've dealt with since 2016 and I think I'll kind of ride out the rest of my career with it mountain biking is good because you're more upright. Uh, started running all together, had a pretty good transition. You know, everybody here has good transitions. Half the field is fresh out of ITU or still in ITU, so wasn't gonna make up any time there. Um, and Matt Sharp and I, we just took off and we were running really well. And for the first couple of K, we were talking, you know, in little bits and spurts, and I thought there was a chance we might be able to run all the way up to, uh, Chase McQueen and I'm sorry I don't know the guy he was running with another pretty fast swimmer Nick something I think um, but around the 5k turn I started to blow up Matt blew up a little bit less but I don't think he uh, I have not actually looked at the results but I'm pretty sure he didn't catch them uh, but that's kind of the way that mentality that came into this race is like I'm a little bit fit my training the last few weeks hasn't been ideal but I've been doing a lot of really awesome stuff that I'm passionate about and uh, the big the race that I'm most excited about and focused on this year is to go to Exeter, Alabama. Do the best that I possibly can there. And that's in three weeks. So uh, I just kind of went out there and was like, well, I'm going to fake it till I make it or show up and blow up or some version of that. And 
and I think I did that, and I had a good time. It was, it was awesome to be out there racing with Matt Sharp, trying to catch those guys, duking it out with Jason. Jason did end up coming by me with a few K to go, and uh, he got fifth, I got sixth. But it was fun. Yeah, it hurt, sucked at moments, but that's racing, and um, I don't think I can ask for much more. After the race, I got to pose for selfies with people, talk to a bunch of people who have been touched by TTL, and hang out with the Mad Dog Triathlon Club and my amazing homestay, Chuck and Gail, and it's just, it's such a cool vibe here. And that's the reason I come back every year, and like I said, I don't know how many more, don't know how many more years I got, so come to one that I've gone to for a lot of times and won and have really good memories at is, is super special. I don't think that, <laughs> I think that's all I got. See you guys whenever the next one is. <laughs>